What does it mean to tap into a well when it comes to story? So, yeah, in, this, in my book, The Three Wells of Screenwriting, I use the metaphor of, of a well because for me, wells are, you know, I mean, the desert they needed, obviously, to kind of provide life, blood of, you know, of water, not blood, but like water to survive. You can't really survive in a desert without them. And I don't think we can survive without stories. And so for me, tapping into a well is taking that metaphor and expanding it a bit and, and digging into either other movies you've seen um, or your imagination or your memory and literally drawing up water, which are stories, to kind of feed the, the, the tribe. And I always just like the idea of a well because wells are mysterious. You know, they go down into some sort of a groundwater and the groundwater seeps everywhere and connects everything else. So I think that there's something like the collective unconsciousness that Jung talks about is in a well. You know, you kind of, you never know what you're going to find down there. It's going to be surprising to you, hopefully, but it can also be really rich and life-giving. So for me, that's what I mean by tapping into a well. I think I got the idea from overhearing a, um, a composer talk about how when he composed music, um, sort of classical composer, that sometimes it felt like he was just tapping into an underground river and the music was this river just flowing. And if he could tap into it, he could just listen to the music. And for me, if a story comes to you like that, that's, that's amazing. So, so yeah, it's esoteric, but it, t for me, it talks about uh, the creative process in a way that's really real for me, yeah. I like that. You think a lot of writers are tapping into this, they could, it could be a well or, mm -hmm. or even air up mm -hmm. above. Mm -hmm. You think that's something that when they get into like this right mindset and they're in their favorite writing environment? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's beautiful when it happens. It's sometimes difficult to get there. And the point of my book is to help people get there. But often we can feel stuck and we're not in that space of flow. And flow is also like this, flow reminds me of like a river where a well can draw from, in a way. Yeah, it can be really difficult to get to that space, but when you're in that space as a writer, you kind of recognize it, I think. When the characters start almost behaving and talking by themselves, and it's like this weird world that you've imagined, but it's alive, then we're, then we're in the flow of writing. And that, for me, does feel a bit like drawing from a well. So I think that's, yeah, that flow, the underground river that we sort of tap into. It can also be a lightning bolt from above. There's been many, you know, angels inspiring us, the muses inspiring us. There's been a lot of stories as to where ideas come from. But I think uh, you know it when you feel it, when you're writing. It's great. And it's like, and for me, time stops, things slow down. I don't eat, I don't worry about anything, I just write. When I mean, you read about some people who've written famous works or famous songs, they, they don't know where it comes from. It just, the song comes, the story comes. That's, that's an amazing space if you can get there. It's interesting that you say that some days it's very difficult to get there because even with runners or even mm -hmm. people who walk, there is sort of like a walker's high or runner's high, but some days it doesn't happen. It's Absolutely. just either you're off or the yep. world is off, like yep. some tragic stories out there and you can feel it around you and it's oh. just like, I can't get to that place today. Interesting. Can you not get to that place even if you run for 20, for a while? Does it eventually just come or does it sometimes never come on the whole run? For me, sometimes it just doesn't come. That's amazing. I don't know. And, and I don't know if it's just, it's more me or it's the environment or it's too, like, you know, if, if it's more traffic, yeah. it, let's say you're trying to, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. stopping and okay. starting and you can't yeah, really yeah. be around that. So. That's interesting because I think from a writer's point of view, sometimes you can write and the whole session is frustrating and you're like, I didn't get to that place. I'm a failure. This is terrible. But you just have to go again. And that's, that can be very difficult, I think. Like really, really difficult. Yeah. And you have right. to just push through and just get out of vomit draft as I call it, vomit draft, just, you know, just you vomit it out. And even if it's terrible, somewhere along the line, once you've done that and you go and rewrite, you, you may hit that space again. But it can be very limiting for people. I think it can be frustrating. Writing can be frustrating. Even as, you know, it's surprising. Jogging can be frustrating. I'm, I've just started surfing, which has never really been frustrating. It can be frustrating, but it's always pleasurable when I leave the water. But it can be very frustrating. But it, Really? What, what, just because you're waiting for a wave and if it doesn't come or you're not catching it at the right time? Um, no, more like if the conditions are terrible and the waves are everywhere and they're hitting you and it's like crazy and it's chaos and you just like, and you can't catch the wave sometime and you paddle, paddle, paddle and like the wave just goes past you and you're like, ah. I've literally shouted, like I've actually paddled on a surfboard and I'm paddling and then I, I, I miss the wave and it turns into pounding the wave. So I think it, it's what you bring to it as well, I think. You know, this is why, I mean, surfing is, taught me about um, what I bring to the surf. If I'm in a frustrated mode, 
it's a way of releasing it. And I think maybe in writing it's the same. You were saying about you know, jogging, it can just be you maybe, what you bring to the jog before. And that's also why conscious writing and meditation is kind of important because you kind of, you're aware of that. It's not writing that's the problem. It's maybe, and it's not me that's the problem, but it's just everything that I'm bringing to it. And so there's a bit of a freedom in that.